have to submit my dissertation in January. So I think it's about time I should actually start drafting. And um, we'll see how that goes. I've got my coffee here. It's currently 6.30. I know I look ridiculous. I just woke up, so like... Honestly, I don't care. It's disgusting, it's awful, and none of it should have happened. But yeah, I'll just get on with my reading. I just had to light that crusty, old, and frankly disgusting candle to put myself in the mood for studying. Because in these challenging times, we all gotta channel our inner 2014 relatable girl. At least I do. Anyway, if you're new here, I'm Alexandra, I'm in my final year of fine art, and I have a dissertation to submit by the end of this semester. And I'm writing about craft, as you can peep from those lovely books, and um, if you're interested in my art, I do illustration and embroidery, and you can find them here. My 6am mornings are the only time of the day I can concentrate to write unless pressed by some sort of deadline. I don't cope well with afternoon studying, especially when it gets dark at 4. And if you're gonna say it's dark at 6am too, well, mind your own business, pal. But you know when it's not dark? At 8am, which is when I wake up Nathan. Not because he needs me to, but because I make it my goal to make sure I annoy him first thing in the morning. You know, set the bar low and all that. So it's 11. I'm gonna go for a run. I ran a 21.5k this weekend. And I think I'm still recovering after that. Not the most appealing look. Actually, I haven't looked good like in ages. I think last time I looked good was in February when I went out last. Okay, this sounded bad, just a memo. I don't equate not wearing makeup with not looking good. I don't even think I look that bad, it's just that 90% of my humor is self-deprecating. Anyway, let's get back to it. Now it's November. Please, help me. I forgot what human interaction feels like. Anyway, back to the run. The only thing that keeps me sane. All right, let's go. And my friends, take this from a flawed human like me. Never forget to stretch after your runs. Oh yeah, this is a good angle. This is not a tutorial, by the way. Now, I have this lovely sweater that I cherish because my best friend gave it to me on Christmas. And unfortunately, because of who I am as a person, I stained it with acrylic paint. And my fellow artists know, nothing will ever take out that stain. Trust me, I tried. So, I decided to embroider a little sunflower to cover the stain, and I went right into it. No sketch, no nothing. Yes, I know, I'm reckless. That's just me. Oh, over the stain so you could sell it for more money. No, Nathan, so I can keep wearing it. So you can sell it for profit. <laughs> <laughs> what the f if you If you do it in reverse, it will make sense. <laughs> <laughs> it's me speaking, but be like, I love my girlfriend. Oh. <laughs> Try reversing it. Okay. Psych. Bitch, you wish. Back to my sweater, not only am I attached to this as it is, but I don't think the efforts of an underpaid sweatshop worker should go into the landfill because silly me played with paints once. So today I give life back to my beautiful sweater and I think it's turning out quite nice. Not to mention I love that I made it a bit more my own. Ta-da! 
Nathan just came back from a run and he's just lying on the floor like as you come into the house. He really trusts my vacuuming skills. Now we interrupt this program to give you procrastination. That's suspicious. That's weird. Most of my uni is online nowadays. The only time I go out there into the wild is when I go to the studio. So here's my studio look and now it's time to get going. Yeah, no, I wish. I wish I was that efficient. This is why I'm late to everything, by the way. You need to be locked in prison for a very long time. You need the internet taken away from you. Here we go again. Because I don't go to the studio as much as I used to in previous years, my walls look a bit austere. Today I'm sticking some art that inspires me, as well as some of my own. Today I'm mainly taking notes on some artists I'm using as reference and make some sketches I'm planning to transform into embroidery. Yeah. thread into thinner threads oh, yeah. so, so I've been like experimenting with like different types of thicknesses for the um, embroidery she's an icon she's a legend and she is the moment so back to that mini rant I had about fast fashion because I kind of left that hanging I admire people who go zero waste and to the best of my capacities I try to do that as well. This is a recent thing for me and I still have a lot to learn but I am taking small steps such as not buying things on a whim anymore, thrifting most of my purchases, or repurposing worn out clothes into my art, um, or as you saw in this video revamping my wardrobe if it has slight malfunctions. I'm trying my best to differentiate between my needs and my wants and if I really need something I will purchase it fast fashion because I'm not at a point in my life where I can afford sustainable fashion. For me, it's all about moderation, it never hurts to be a bit more compassionate and I can talk more about this in a future video. So um, my camera decided to betray me and messed up my footage, but um, we had coffee and fed nuts to a squirrel, so I guess it was a nice day. <laughs> 
And of course, I came back home to more studying. I know I said I'm not the best at studying in the evening, but I really had to catch up on some things because I spent all Thursday thinking it was actually Wednesday and missed five lectures, which then I had to catch up with in the morning. Um, yeah. <laughs> I finished my day off with a workout, a good old glass of wine. And a slightly tipsy bath. The real ones know. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you had a decent week yourself. Take care, wash your hands, and I'll see you again soon.